Come on, Thomas. Come here. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel. And as you've seen this title, this is a special video. Because in today's video, I'm going to be doing something for you guys. And that's a giveaway. I just want to say thank you to all you guys that have subscribed to my channel and are following me on this YouTube journey. I now have 1,500 subscribers. Now, that might not be a lot to you, but to me, it's definitely a good amount and uh, I appreciate it. So with that being said, I'm doing a giveaway in this video and also this is just gonna be like a random video of things that I recently just got. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're interested in entering into this giveaway, then keep watching. Okay, so we're actually gonna start off this video with different sections of what I'm going to show you. So like fashion related items, accessories, and just like random stuff. So we're gonna like try to keep as organized as possible. But first things first, I'm going to actually show you the first item that I'm going to be giving away, and that is a watch. Now, this is not just any kind of watch. I recently just got a Jord watch. Now, if you're not familiar with who they are, Jord is actually a company that handcrafts wooden watches. Jord is an amazing company, and I'm just like completely impressed by my overall experience from packaging to the product itself to just everything in a whole. As you can see, I have like a lot of cats around me. I'm actually a cat dad of five babies. My partner and I just, well, we were cat people. You can find these watches at woodwatches.com and Jord has tons of options for women, for men, and everything is just beautiful. My watch is from their Hyde series and it's the stacked sandalwood and olive with ivory. Now also a great thing is their watches are fairly priced. They're not like too outrageous or anything for raw materials. My favorite thing about this is it's silver and gold. So it pretty much goes with everything. And uh, that was kind of like my curiosity with wood watches. Like are they gonna go with stuff? Like how do you combine this with like casual wear versus formal wear? And to be honest with you, it goes with everything. So. Came in a box like this, it says for GLA and Jord, but full packaging. And then inside of that, we have a wood box. Now this is your personal box for your watch. Has the brand's name there, big J right there. And inside it is a cushion to uh, keep your watch. But honestly, this experience in general with this company is amazing. And I'm gonna stop like raving about this company, just tell you, I'm gonna be giving away one of these watches to somebody that enters into this giveaway. Find out a little more at the end of this video how you can enter into my giveaway and uh, one of these will be yours too. On the topic of wrist game, because this game right here, come on, this watch, it's life. I actually have some bracelets to talk about. Now these bracelets are not just any kind of bracelet, they are George Shearer bracelets. Yes, I design handcraft and make my own bracelets. These four bracelets have been inspired by Shakespeare. I know it's pretty random, but the month of February is also the romance month and uh, Romeo and Juliet is like a iconic like romance novel. So novel is a novel, but I was inspired by some of the terms, words and names that were used from Romeo and Juliet, which is why I named this bracelet Paramour. This one's called Swoon. This one is Capulet, and this is Montague. I'm very pumped with how these four bracelets came out and I'm excited to share them with you guys. So if you're interested in some quality bracelets, then definitely check out my shop on Etsy. And uh, on to the next product. This is going to be a pair of shoes. And I just got these from Urban Outfitters and uh, I've been wanting military boots for like the longest time and finally caved in when I found a pair that I thought would be great for spring. These are from a company called Rothko and it's the American foremost supplier of military footwear and apparel. Never read that before, but yeah, that's them. This is Rothko, Rothko. And let's check them out. Has this on there. And boom, there they are. Now they're lightweight, you could definitely feel the quality there. They're not cheap, 
and uh, flimsy. They're uh, definitely really good quality. Suede is just like one of those products that I'm like always iffy with wearing because I end up getting them ruined, but they're very beautiful and I'm excited to wear them. I don't normally talk about socks, but I thought why not? Because this company called MD sent me these bamboo socks and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of obsessed with these. I didn't even know that bamboo socks existed until I got these and uh, yeah, I'm loving them. I guess they're, like, they're great for um, bacteria purposes, they last longer and they honestly work great at the gym because I don't, I don't feel like gross after like I take them off. So a little TMI there, but you'll thank me if you actually give them a shot. So check these out. They're MD socks, bamboo socks, and I'll leave a link in the description down below as well. Next is a hat. And this is quite random because it's a Justin Timberlake hat. This is from his Future Sex Love Show tour. And um, I'm not like a huge Justin fan, but I did go to this concert at Madison Square Garden back in 2007. And I, I completely forgot I had this hat up until I moved recently. And um, I found this and I was like, oh my God, that's actually kind of cool. Especially because this year he's like back again with new music and a new tour and he just did a halftime show. So I'm probably gonna be wearing this hat because it's quite vintage. Next, I got a few things from 21 Men. Now I was just bored this past weekend and I went to uh, my local mall and I, I hit up some of those cheap stores. By that I mean, like the trendy H&M and 21 Men, and they had quite random stuff. I was kind of impressed with some of their new releases. Um, I know 21 Men had this Britney Spears like sweater, sweatshirt, shirt, and I, I was kind of feeling it, but then I thought like, where the heck am I ever gonna wear this to? So I didn't get it. With these type of stores, I feel like I always have to try and close because everything just fits me different. I can get like a medium, in one shirt and the next shirt will have to be like a large, which is quite crazy. But I tried on a few things and ended up buying some and my favorite purchase would have to be, well, this cardigan, which is very comfortable, oversized, and I love the color. Anything Hunter Green is probably a favorite of mine. And this shirt here, which is quite out of my comfort zone, but it is a floral tee. And I think this is like a kind of silky material. I'm not quite sure what it's made out of, but screams grandma or grandpa. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of living for it. I also picked up this jacket and I fell in love with the color. This is like a slate blue, kind of shiny material. And this is one of those, I think they're called Letterman jackets. I don't know, but I'm not really into these that much. I, I never got into that trend. I know Gucci has beautiful ones, but I, just, I never really felt it until I seen this color. The back says, the lost Harajuku Legends Outsiders Club, Tokyo, Japan. Um, all right, but the color though, are you kidding me? If you watched my last video, you seen I did a Tommy Hilfiger haul, and I got tons of Tommy stuff. And uh, one thing I came across were some patches like iron-on patches. I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna do this or not, but I ended up using those patches for my Tommy backpack. And the finished product though is quite beautiful. I love it. I definitely am happy with the way that it came out. I added a couple patches on the front and just one patch on the arm. This is about to get a little healthy. These drinks here are something I wanted to share with you guys because I have been absolutely obsessed with Kombucha, Kambuka, Kambuki, whatever you want to call it. I always feel like I pronounce it incorrectly, but Kombucha. So I just need like four different ways to pronounce it, but I love this brand. This is a brand called Synergy Organic Kombucha, and uh, this one is their black chai. I was never a fan of drinking anything like this. Fermented stuff is, is not for everyone. I know a lot of people that think that Kombucha is disgusting, but I think you need to try the right kinds. This company, Synergy Organic Kombucha, has been pretty great. Every one that I've tried so far is quite enjoyable. I'm not gonna say delicious because it is fermented stuff and it's not, it's just not delicious, but you do feel great after drinking it. Um, I notice though, if you let it sit for a little too long, it turns more into like an alcoholic beverage. This, on the other hand, is called Salty, and this is a pure green drink. Um, Contains kale, spinach, cucumber, mint, green stuff, 
it's okay, it's not the greatest, but if you're looking for something that has some um, health benefits to it, this is something I'd recommend checking out. Or Naked, I love Naked juices, those are amazing. I know I said I would never try one of these again, but I was recently just sent charcoal toothpaste. This is an actual like paste, not a powder. And if you've seen my charcoal, like 100% charcoal crap, that was, that's something that I will never probably use again ever. It's Charcoal makes a huge mess. So if you ever try like charcoal whitening, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And um, this was just sent to me by, it looks like the dental expert. I've never tried this yet. So if you tried it, definitely let me know down below how you feel about this company or this type of toothpaste. But personally for me, charcoal toothpaste has just been um, a mess on many levels. We're finally at the part where I'm gonna talk about how to enter into the giveaway. And first off, I'm gonna start by saying again, Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm very pumped to have you on this journey with me. I, I make videos for fun. This is just a hobby of mine that I like to do in my spare time and um, share my lifestyle, stuff that I enjoy and hopefully entertain you guys and help you guys out if you know, you're struggling in some type of department of you know fashion or beauty or anything. And I'm no expert, but this is just something I have passion and fun for. So thank you so much again for subscribing. This is gonna be a two part giveaway. A first prize and a second prize winner is gonna be chosen. First prize being a watch. So you're gonna win a Jord watch, which is absolutely stunning. I said before, these watches are a one of a kind. You're going to appreciate it tons. The second prize winner is going to win a bracelet of your choice for my most recent collection. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys, but how do you enter? What you need to do is be subscribed to my channel, you need to like this video, and you need to comment down below which one of my new bracelets is your favorite. So as simple as that, that's all you need to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was like quite random, but I appreciate it very much. And uh, if you can please give it a like, thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, until next time guys, I will see you in the next video. I guess.